my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Christy and I like to have a good time over here. Today's video is really exciting. I'm starting off a little different. <laughs> I already have my full face done, but that's because we're going to be doing kind of a face chart-ish recreation today. So this is from Shine Shadows on Instagram. He is greatly talented. I love his just like eye charts pretty much on his arm, but he added this and I, I don't know, I fell in love with it, so I want to attempt, <laughs> attempt to recreate it, so we'll see how this goes, but I want to go ahead and film it, because I want to do something a little more fun and different, so that's what we're going to do, is we're going to go ahead and get started. So I am going to go ahead and start with the eyes first, and it's actually like a black cut crease, and then kind of like a black smoked out liner too, so... It's going to be a little interesting, <laughs> but I am going to start off with the James Charles palette. So I'm actually going to start off with the P. Louise base. This is 0.5. I actually really enjoyed using this the other day. It is crazy thick, so I feel like you don't need too much of it, but I am obsessed with it. So I'm just going to put this all over my lid, and then I'm just going to kind of blend it out up to the brow because I don't really want to, I guess I could carve out the brow just a tiny bit. So I'm going to start off with the black and I'm actually just going to use a M506 and I'm just going to place this in the crease and I'm going to do the shape of the cut crease. Oh my god, that's terrifying. <laughs> I'm just going to go in with a clean E18. I'm just going to use this to kind of stamp out the black. And I'm just going to be stamping this because I really want it to build up and keep that intensity. And we can always go back to after we cut the crease because that's when I kind of have to blend it out anyway. But how beautiful is this color? So I'm going to go in with the M421. I'm going to use more of the P. Louise face and I'm just going to cut this crease and I'm going to try and keep really like not too curved because this one is more just like long Whew, I swear it's going to take me like 10 times longer to do just the cut crease than anything else. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with the yellow. And I'm just going to use a little M213. These are one of my favorite little bitty brushes. And I'm going to put this on the inner corner. And now I'm going to go into the orange. And then I'm just going to do, of course, like the red, purple, pink, and then like it goes from the pink to purple to blue and then green. I'm just going to use a little bit of the pink. So now that the 
eyeshadow is pretty much finished on the top. I'm going to go ahead and do the liner because there is a little bit of a liner and then glitter around it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do a really thin at the beginning. And I'm just going to get a little bit thicker at the end. Damn, that got thick quick. <laughs> I actually really do like this roller liner from Benefit though, it's really pretty. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to go in with the Heavy Metal Glitter from Urban Decay in Glam Rock. Or do I want to wait for the glitter? I kind of want to wait for the glitter. We'll wait. So I'm going to go back in to the black and I'm going to take a little smudge brush. And I'm going to go from inner corner all the way to outer corner and I'm going to connect it to the wing because it's kind of smoked out. I'm going to use a clean M312, just a kind of a chubby pencil brush. I'm also going to use the 24 hour glide on pencil and perversion from Urban Decay. Because this is like the blackest black pencil ever. And I'm just going to take a little bit more black shadow on the smudge brush. And I'm just going to smudge that out just a little bit more. So now that the top part of the eyeshadow is almost finished, not quite. I'm going to go ahead and do the lower lash line. And now it goes opposite, so it goes green to blue to purple to pink. And then red, orange, yellow, right? <laughs> yeah, something in that order. But I'm actually going to use the same shadows. I'm just going to wet them. And we'll see where it goes. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> now that the hard part is over, I'm going to go ahead and do this eye off camera, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so both eyes are finished except for like the glitter liner, of course. But I'm going to wait till the end to do that because it's glitter liner. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get on to the face part. So it's going to be like right here on the cheek. And I'm so excited. This was my favorite part of the entire thing was just this. Now I know he used some of the Pseudo Beauty like Hydro Liners, and I don't have those. So I'm going to just spray my brush really good and kind of like dip it in the shadow and just kind of like stipple it. Hopefully we'll get the look I'm going for. And I'm going to start off with the pink. And it's just going to go... Oh my god, he's doing it! Yeah. Yeah. Alright, now I need to do it with purple. And I'm actually just going to go right over. It's orange. I 
I'm lucky I have so many of these T33 brushes because they're really coming in handy right now. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm pretty much like digging my brush in there, just getting a lot of product and it kicks up a lot too. So after I wet it, I'm also going back in and that's what gives me like the crazier pigment look, if you will. going to go back and forth between all the colors and then we'll draw the cute little girl. This is pretty cool. I'm not even going to lie. So that's as bright as I can get the yellow. I wish I could do it a little bit more, but you know, such is life. <laughs> this is going to be the tricky part. So I'm going to be really quiet. <laughs> I think I'm going to start, you know, I need her to be like this big, you know what I mean? It actually lets out that my liner is running out because it's actually giving me like that texture. <laughs> That's a lucky coincidence. Girl is finished. I'm going to do the glitter liner and I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liquid Liner and it is in Glam Rock, like the silver one. And it doesn't go all the way to the inner corner, it kind of stops in the middle. So that's where I'm going to go. Alright guys, all I did was apply my lashes. They are the Flutter Lashes Intoxicating because they finish every single dramatic look. And I love them so much. And then I just applied the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Mannequin with the lipstick. And that is it. I have to say I had so much fun with this look, honestly. And only using the James Charles palette. I didn't use any paints. No, nothing. That was a challenge <laughs> in itself. But I had so much fun. I hope you did too. I hope you love this look. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It does help me out so much. Of course, leave a comment down below letting me know what you want to see next. Do you like these types of things? Do you like face charts? Just let me know. Make sure you subscribe before you leave and hit the little bell notification too so you miss other uploads from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.